So usually when I'm starting out, I start out with a really loose sketch. I'm just playing around, and but just something to get me started in the sketch model. From there, I begin to try to capture the essence of that sketch model in clay. And for me right now, ZBrush is, is great for doing that. I can push and pull the clay very easily. There's no technical sort of approach. You just move the clay where you need to move it. You erase it where you need to move it and you keep moving. And you keep trying to, to, to capture the essence of that form. And I'll, I'll work that until I finally arrive at something that most accurately gives, convey the emotional essence of the form. In this particular instance, the essence was this S curve. And as you see, it's still there. The S curve is still there, though somewhat stiffer, but it's still there. And so I progressed that and, and the car had become much more angular, but I, I still felt like it, it it sort of spoke back to that initial sketch. From there on, I took it into, uh, once I got sort of a, a uh, I got a volume, a complete volume, I took it into Keyshot just to see how it looked. And again, I knowing that, knowing that the details weren't completely all there, I just wanted to see how those, how the form held together with highlights and real lighting, because you really can't see really what's going on with the surfaces. So it looked good. The, the model sort of looked good and, and well, the essence of it again looked good. I liked that S, that big large S so it was a matter of now trying to translate that in, in the more typical polys that we are used to. In this instance, um, and, and by the way, after seeing it um, in Keyshot, I went ahead and worked it a little bit further. I saw some things in that that uh, maybe I should work out a little bit further inside of ZBrush, which helped me to, uh, you know, even understand it even better. So once that was done, I then took it inside of Alias. Now I, I use Blender, I use Alias, but I used I use Alias in this case to begin to retope it, and you can see it here, um, retoping inside of Alias. And Alias to retope inside of Alias is just like retoping inside of Maya, even inside of Blender. Particularly when um, the form is quite defined as I'm approaching it here, but that's pretty much all worked out. What I'm now working out, which is, which is why I like sketching inside of ZBrush, a sculpting software, is because I'm not working out how to do the topology. Um, I'm just thinking of a form in ZBrush, but here, because the form has already been been analyzed and kind of thought through, I'm just now thinking of how do I best construct the topology here in order to reflect the form? Because sometimes you know you put a topology, you put the edge loop down, you put the um, you put the vertex down where you think it should, and you, then you smooth it, and then you realize it's not really producing the highlight that you envisioned it to be. So, but I'm only thinking, the thing about it is I'm only thinking about that in this, in this portion of the project. And I think that's important to separate, for me at least, it's important for me. So from there, you know, I got it to a point and it um, became very clear. And now, as you can see, I get to a point where now I can show it more accurately inside a rendering engine like Keyshot. And, here it is, here's a few shots of it in Keyshot. This model is not completed. I still need to put some edge loops and some rads and 
so forth in it to really complete it out some detail in the front etc to really detail it out but it's approaching there and i think that we have something here so i hope you found this video informative and if so please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe